Hi, I'm Juan, and this is going to be a quick demo on some of the new features found in Flowstorm 2.2. If you are new to Flowstorm, it is a closure and closure script debugger. I recommend you to check a previous video I will link in the description, which has information on setting up the debugger and its basic functionality. So let's start a closure REPL and run the debugger. First thing to notice is the new browser tab. It allows us to browse all namespaces and bars currently loaded. Check some basic information like their arguments and doc strings. And most important, instrument them with a single click. Let's instrument a couple of closure set functions like difference and union. As you can see, they show up here in the instrumentation panel, where we can also disable and remove them by using these controls. Now we can run them. And step over the code. So that is all for the browser. Let's go back to our traced flow to check another pretty handy feature. Flowstorm isn't a replacement to REPL debugging. On the contrary, it's designed to improve the REPL-driven development experience. As we can see, all value panels now have a dev button. If we click on it, it will ask for a bar name and define that value in the user namespace under the provided name. Now we can go to the REPL and work with it from here, which is pretty convenient. The last feature I'm going to demo is conditional tracing. But let's jump to a different project first. So imagine we are developing a game and we are interested in tracing some code that is being called 60 times per second. In this example, we have ball bouncing on four walls we can change the speed while it's running. If we look at the code, the logic is being implemented by two functions, update state and update ball state. If we simply add trace tag on our functions, traces are going to flood the debugger and it's not going to be practical. For these cases, Flowstorm provides ctrace tag for conditional tracing. Ctrace will instrument the entire form but disable tracing, which we can enable conditionally on any form by annotating it with trace when meta, providing any Boolean expression. Let's say we are only interested in debugging update ball state and update state when the ball hits the left wall. For this, we can Ctrace update state and annotate the outer form so we only trace when x position is less than zero. We can then just trace update ball state since it is being called from update state, which is enabling and disabling traces. Now, when we run our code, we can see the instrument code only generate traces under those specific conditions. And that is all I have for you today. I hope someone find it useful and see you next time. Bye.